Good morning, good evening, guys, to my new viewers or existing ones, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Roger, Roger's One mm -hmm. and Adventures. That's the name of my channel. And Frankie Kington, who's my weekly guest, is that's his channel. So be sure you do subscribe to our uh, respective channels and press that little bell so you get notified from any uh, new videos we have. We have uh, on the Saturday afternoon is around topics we love to talk about self-development and try to inspire people to do better in their lives okay and today to, today's topic is about how do we learn from adversity and how can we become stronger because of it okay so i would say for me the biggest adverse ad, uh, adversary i would say it can be our opponent it could be even yourself yourself because we we don't we doubt about yourself we doubt about our own potential because often when we see on television there are a lot of celebrities or television or youtube or wh whatever a lot of celebrities have achieved uh, big big results in sports let's just just name but one like roger federer or andy murray for example or and then uh, singers, guitarists, and all sorts of things. And then, and then we admire those people. Most of us, most of us do admire those people. But often, because of that, and no disrespect to those people who have achieved great things, we don't, we doubt our own potential. Just because we are not Roger Federer or Andy Murray or whoever, that doesn't mean we cannot achieve things. But I think deep down sometimes we do doubt ourselves because of that. Oh, he has talent, she has talent, and so on and so forth. Unconsciously, in my opinion, he is also saying like, well, I am not as good as they are, so I won't achieve it, I won't achieve that or the other. Let's put a stop to that, okay? Great for these people, fantastic. I'm really, really pleased for them. But that doesn't mean us as ordinary people, we cannot achieve great stuff, great results in our life. And... Uh, our potential. So a quick example of mine now, if I would say for a long time, I wanted to be able to speak in public in front of, of an audience. And I mentioned that in a, couple, in a few videos of mine. Um, okay, Alors, very quickly, quite simply, is that I always wanted to do it, but the fear of standing in front of people, the fear of being ridiculed, or the fear of not being able to say what you wanted to say, because suddenly you have 100 people in front of you, Okay, stop me from doing a lot of things. Anyway, so I have achieved it and I found out that I really do enjoy it. And yeah, you need to have a, a tiny bit of fear before you want it. it. It's the adversity that will make you stronger. So I'm really pleased I achieved that. But if I, you know, if I had not achieved it, I would have probably still believed that other people are better because they have the, the potential already, because they have the talent already. And John Bullock mentioned, oh, uh, the other day, you also as a YouTube channel. Oh, I didn't know that side of you, Roger. I've uh, listened to what, uh, I've watched one of your videos about public speaking. Yeah, great. You did a great job there. So it means we have the potential. It took me a long time because uh, uh, before I came onto that stage. Anyway, it's done. Now. Oh. I will just carry on. Hello. Just I would like to add something before and the lockdown as well. And the, that's the biggest adversity of the current time, isn't it? Lockdown. We can use it as an opportunity to refocus our mind, to refocus on what we're doing and uh, to use it as an opportunity. It's a bit of a paradox because obviously we know all the damage uh, that the lockdown has caused, uh, all the damage business-wise and otherwise, and for mental health as well. I'm not going to go into whether it was necessary or not necessary. That's another topic. But the, the lockdown has caused a lot of da damage. So we need to teach our mind. We need to be able to train ourselves to refocus. So Frankie, over to you. And uh, so what do you um, think of it, of all this? Yeah. What's, what's your message out there? And I know yourself, you come through some adversities as well in your life, haven't you? Smile in the face of adversity. Absolutely. Come on, come here. I will beat Smile you. In the face yeah. of adversity. Smile. Adversity. I like that. Smile in the face of Smile. adversity. I'm going to write it down, you know, because I think that's a great way. That's a great thing. Smile in the face of adversity. The adversity has benefit. The adversity of opportunity to transform something deeply in your life. Adversity is there to make you stronger and a better person. Yeah. Adversity yeah. challenges you, it makes you grow, it makes you stronger, it makes you a better person, and it makes you a more focused person. You cannot go through life without experiencing adversity. Mm -hmm. Adversity is so important for our growth and for our well-being. It makes the adversity as a source of peace or comfort. In my spiritual world and what I practice, 
adversity is a benefit for you to grow and get better. So when you come up against adversity, don't be treat. Look it straight in the face and say, ah, I ain't going to overcome you. Yeah. Treat you like beverage function. Or I say like that gremlin. One gremlin on one shoulder, the other gremlin on the other shoulder. This gremlin says, oh, you, you're great. This other gremlin says, you're not going to do it. And there's a battle going on. <laughs> and you're still right. I mean, I'm glad you mentioned that because... Um... We, can I, just, I would like to add something very quickly on this one, you know, when we are on our shoulder and all that. And often we had the, we did a video with Maria Do, Dorota Kropanovsky, who also have a channel, Dolphin Seminars. We had a discussion about that little voice of ours. If I don't know if you remember that one, Frankie. But that little voice of ours, often we, we see that little voice as an enemy, isn't it? That, that oh, you can't do this, oh, come on, sit down, you'll be fine, do it tomorrow, that kind of thing, you know. Oh, can we ask that, that little voice that go against you? But rather than going against it and having a fight with that little voice and say, oh, you idiot, no, blah, blah, blah. Make that little voice your friend. No, I don't. I, and then go something like with your little voice. No, sorry, I disagree with you. I know I can do this. And then little voice goes, no, you can't. Yes, I can. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, never mind. Go away. You know, but do it in a nice way. That way it's not becoming... Um, you're not tense, you know, you're not like <clears throat> producing negative energy. If you have a good discussion with that little voice, is kind of like, okay, let's just, uh, okay, I'm going to show you that I can do it. Yeah. It popped up for the reason, hasn't it, that voice? Absolutely. And it's, that little voice is yourself. It's your own doubts that are talking to you. So why, why be angry at it? You'll be angry at yourself. Just be to that, that, that little voice in a good way. So be kind to yourself and have an honest discussion with yourself and say, sorry, I know I can do it. Okay, it might take me six months, might take me a month, might take me a week, but I'll do it. And I think that's probably a good thing. Be kind to yourself and smile in the face of adversity. Say to adversity, your adversity, my life is bigger than you. I'm going to smother my life, my characteristics over that word adversity. I'm going to defeat it and shamble it into the ground. Adversity, you don't exist. You're there to make me stronger. You're there to test my faith and my character. Absolutely. So, guys, uh, we can just uh, conclude on this beautiful word that smile in the face of adversity, keep smiling, talk to your little voice in a polite way, because at the end of the day, that voice is yourself, it's your own doubts. So be kind in it and say, I'm going to show you. Okay, guys out there, please comment. How do you yourself overcome adversity? By the way, life is not meant to be easy anyway. And why should it be? Be boring, money. So, okay. Goodbye for now. I really enjoyed doing this video with my uh, weekly guest, uh, Frank Kinton. And see you next week. Bye for now. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, Roger.